Okay, this is Dragon of Eternity, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, patch 6.15 content. In the last video, I ranked up with the Orcasadora Beast Tribe, the Hippo Riders, and in this video, I'm going to be doing that again. So, as you can see from the reputation, I am now 720 out of 720. And I've got a set of dailies to turn in. So, let's accept this quest from Turner. Hippo healing. Turner's boundless optimism is flagging slightly as her eyes dart anxiously among spawners shuffling hippos. Happy to see you, Mariashna. I've actually got something to tickle your finger with. Hey, Maru, get over here. Comfy music. Starting with the good news. Looks like the hottest thing on Favnir is Savannah's new Tandore. Or Tandor? I've heard it like Tandori, though I guess that's with an I at the end. Folks can't get enough of our homemade grub. Being able to eat whenever we want about the best idea I ever came up with. All you really need in life is a kitchen. It's the simplest things. Which brings us to our recent pickle. All the new business we're getting is really wearing down our hippos. We can't afford to lay off the work, but my poor girl Soria's got bags under her eyes. Hmm. Calls for a dip in the spa. Do they have comfy beds? I mean, both would work. I haven't seen a hippo in the water in this game. You know, I've never given creature comforts much forward before, but if it's for our hippos, maybe it's time to start. But boss! Boss! Hmm? Oh, if it isn't Gaza. What are you doing back so early? You're supposed to be out on delivery, ain't you? That's just it, boss. We got trouble. The order I was out delivering. It got snatched. Straight out of my arms. Uh-oh. Just when I enter the jungle, this bloke jumps out at me like I'm serving two for one at his favourite Mayhane. Mayhane? 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 I don't know how you pronounce it. I pull up so I don't ride straight into him, but he rushes me, grabs the food I'm holding, and takes off. How dare he! Stealing my food and running around in flashy armour, like he ain't got to answer to nobody. Armour. A meal moocher? Wearing armor. Stinian? No. Alright, alright, forget that loon, Gaza. Remake the order and get it delivered. On the double. Mashna, you up for stretching your legs? Let's see if we can't find the son of a Bujamga. Bujamga. Good. I'll go and hitch up Soria. If she'll even let me. How am I going to convince her this time? Food. Plenty and plenty of food. Like I said, we've got a fifth to catch. Meet me over at the Shroud of the Samga, and we'll see if he left any non-crumbs. I suppose that's Favnarian bread. Yeah. Son of a Bajanga. Are they the lizard people I'm thinking of? Oh, what do I find out? Okay, so I need to go all the way up there. But if I hang around here, I should be able to see one. There we go. No, you're a Pisaka. Then what the hell is a Pajamka? Hmm. Is it the Armadillos? Is it you? No. I have no idea what a pajamga is then. Hmm. Son of a pajamga. Are you a pajamga? No, you're a Jamal. And you're a fate. 
I have no idea what a pajanga is then. <laughs> I've been trying to figure this out for the past hour. Oh, for no note, I've had a previous recording attempt at this. Yeah, I, I don't know what a pajanga is. I'm tempted to just Google it and find out. Hey, Turner! There you are! Here you are, even. Perfect timing. Me and Soria just made a sweep, but we didn't see nothing out of the ordinary. Not surprising, of course. No thief I've ever met sticks around to face the music. Anyway, see if you can pick up anything we might have missed. A jungle's always moving, after all. You'll never know what you might find. Me and Soria will catch up in a bit. Let me know if you find anything suspicious. Alright, so I'll tell you if I see anything sus. You know what? I'm Googling this. <laughs> Alright. As I walk through the jungle, if it would let me type the bloody thing on on my phone, FF14. Uh, what's the thing called? BHU. Bujanga. Bujamga. Bujamga. Let's see. Level 85. So it's on the eastern side. Wait, is it the monkeys? Probably, it probably is the monkeys. Uh, let's see. Point of interest number one. Oh, no, it's a snake. Oh, it's a snake to the north. All right. As you survey the area for suspicious, for, for suspicious activity, some nearby leaves rustle and a murderous Asfatva Osvara appears. Again, pronunciation with these kind of names. I, I don't know how you pronounce them. Hey, 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 hey. I get a bit of lag here, don't I? Yeah. The joys of being a UK player on a US server. Yeah, well, it's not like it's going to kill me. I hope. Wait, did I just get bad breath by the bloody Marlboro? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Please kill it before it kills me. Please! I can't... I can't move. There we go. That lag is really hitting me. Yeah, n not much I can do about it. Unless I went by Starlink. Ay, ay, ay. Starlight in it is honestly really tempting at this point in time. It's either that or moving. As you survey the area for suspicious activity, you spot an armed Arcasadora. You recognize her as the hunter, Sula. She lifts her hand in salutation before disappearing into the jungle. I assume that was from a side quest in Palakistan, an NPC. Mm-hmm. Let's see, point of interest number three. Surveying. Go team. Ah. Oh. Papa. You survey your survey of the area. Yields not a suspicious person, but two adorable hippo calves. You may smell more like hippo than you think, because they cling to you as a comrade. Without a herd to protect them, these two calves might easily fall prey to other wild beasts. It would be best to pause your search for now, and accompany them to safety. Alright, I'm going to call one Alice A and one Alpha now. Sound good? You'll be Alpha No, you'll be Alice. The shy one. 
Po. The energetic one. Po Po. This energetic cough. <laughs> this energetic hippo cough looks ready to follow you. It nudges the shy hippo cough beside it in encouragement. Turner should know what to do. They're now accompanying you. Alright. Alright. I guess I'm just walking with two hippo coughs then. Mm hmm. I wonder if I can see the snakes from here. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're around this area, at least during the fate. Yeah. Right then, Turner, I've got two babbies with me. I could make it free, do I? Do I have a hippo? Minion? Um... Do I? No. It was hope. I'm pretty sure they exist. How did... Wait, where'd you get those hippos? Don't tell me you're the top... The type. That can't help picking up strays if they look at you all winsome like. Nothing suspicious save these little pots, sir. Strange there weren't other hippos, though. Me and Soria also made an odd find. A radiant who'd gone smacked around by a beast. But no sign of a thief. Anyway, I bundled them into the cart and sent Soria off the Palika stand. Let's head over as well. Gaza should be there with his delivery by now, and I want to get his account again. Bring those calves while you're at it. It's too dangerous to leave him out here alone. Are they still following me? Yes, they are. Alright. I guess we're running. Keep up, hippos! Ooh, two carts. Over there. Alright, we got Ogul and Rakashir. Or, yeah, Raka Rakashir, I think. Ogul. So sorry to keep you waiting. Two Hippo Rider specials. Fast, fresh, and ready to eat. Oh, at last! I partake in the famed Hippo Rider special. The spicy tandoori prawns. The sumptuous fish tikka. If only Grandmother could see me now, ordering fresh fish in the custom of the locals. Rakashir. Teacher really likes to, really seems to like Favnerian cuisine. I wonder if it's very different from her homelands. I imagine it would be. And then you two keep saying that. Alright, Turner. And cutscene. Looks like the Radiant got back safe. One of their friends just thanked me. Hi, Ogle. Greetings, my Rashna. Yazan tells me you've taken to the shipping trade. So if I remember, she used to be afraid of Matanga due to... Oh, well, Alcastor. Due to the ones at the Asm Step being absolute assholes. And he used to be stealing from people because he was poor and had to... serve an asshole. Which we then saved them from, so now he follows her. I think that's how the side quest went. Anyway. You sure do know everybody, don't you? Yeah, I do. I did every side quest. Well, except for one in Final Land, but... Uh, apologies for the delay of your delivery. Some scoundrel ran off with the first batch we sent. What's this island coming to? Like, Hawker Store, I can't even trust each other not to act like two gill thieves. And that's not even getting into the bugger's poor taste and armor. Anyway, we're terribly sorry to have kept you waiting, miss. Think nothing of it. It was only the most minor of delays. I'm more worried about the scoundrel you mentioned. I've been patrolling this area for some time, and this is the first I've heard of an Arcasadora. Wearing armor? Oh, no. Mother for fend. In any case, I'll be sure to keep my eyes extra sharp while patrolling. 
We can't have M Matanga running wild and pilfering prawns now, can we? You're making an odd squeaking sound, did you know? And your tika is getting cold. Right you are, young racketeer. Let's eat. As grandmother used to say, an empty stomach leads to forest fires. Or was it friendly fire? Forgive me, I feel faint. After we partake of these delicious meals, we shall scour the jungle for any nefarious suspects. I will send word if we find anything. Bye, Ogul. So, are you going to introduce me, or should I skip straight to the cuddling? Skip to, straight to the cuddling. He was Shy Hippo and Energetic Hippo. I've named them Alphano and Alice. They were alone? Usually coughs this young are glued to their parents. But you're saying there were no other hippos around? My deliveries are done, so why don't I go and have a look around the watering holes up north? See if my expert eye don't pick up something useful. Truth be told, these darlings probably smell too much like us to be going back to the herd now. Take them home so we can make sure they grow up right, will you, boss? Gaza can be a hothead, but he's a real hippo whisperer. Ain't no one knows him better. I'll take the juniors back to Zavarna. Stop by later when you get the chance. Alright, and turn in Hippo Healing. That was... Hmm. I was expecting more of a... of a story beat. Oh well. You know, while I'm going around here, where... where are the bloody snakes? My curiosity is not going to be sated until I see one. It's just alligators here, isn't it? Yeah, alligators and tigers. Well, shit. Yeah, well. Okie dokie, so Savarna. Turn this in, hand those three in, and I should have the bonus of the new three then. Fairly luck, that would get me to 86. Lovely. Hey, right, Turner. The calves are making themselves right at home. Nothing better than having a herd, after all. You went out looking for a bandit and brought back two hippo calves instead. You're pretty bad at finding things, Marishna. But they are sure are cute. The master returns. Find anything? I searched high and low, boss, but there's not a hippo to be had for gill or glory. Judging by their tracks, the herd must have up and left in a hurry. So you think the calves got left behind in the scramble? I reckon nothing short of an outright blaze would be enough to separate cow from calf, but I ain't heard news of any fires recently. Something else might have done a boss, or someone. I found tracks that looked an awful lot like an Orcasaurus. A rival hippo rider, a hippo poacher. Poacher sounds easier. Can't rule it out to be sure. Thankfully, I didn't find no grizzly bits or nothing. So either way, the hippos probably got away safely. In any case, we've got a no good, grub grabbing, hippo harassing low life on our hands. We've got to be extra careful till we catch this bandit. Maybe so, but us hippo riders are professionals now. We can't let nothing stop us from delivering. Son of a pajamga! The creature comforts! Boss, you feeling alright? I am, but our hippos ain't. If this thief comes angling for our deliveries again and the hippos are too tired to hold themselves out of there, we're done for. And I'm not feeling great about our odds, seeing as even Sorio was tipping me the cold shoulder earlier. 
I thought I'd have to pull her in the cart. If it's rest our poor pots need, then our first order of business is a proper sleeping stable. Long overdue, if you ask me. And for our new additions, a wading pool. It's safer if they swim right at home. I guess we can fix up that old fish pond and make a splash. If it ain't deep enough for the bigger hippos, though. It ain't deep. It ain't deep enough for the bigger hippos, though. Play. It's better for nothing. And we can't keep him cooped up in Savarna all the time anyway. That's no good for the hippo soul. May as well take him out for proper bathing excursions. That sounds like a daily. I guess they are the ones doing most of the legwork. But this ain't no small project, Gaza. You better be helping me build all of this. Quest complete. Alright, let's see what this bit looks like. Uh oh, I think one's dead. <laughs> you alright, buddy? <laughs> Thanks to Maru and Gaza's exhaustive efforts, Savannah has a new stable and wading pool. The hippo riders are now known as unique couriers, which is presumably an improvement. Make the most of their rested and refreshed hippos. Okay. Quest complete. Yay! Reputation up. Your reputation has increased too. Respected. You have achieved respected reputation with the Hippo Riders. New Arcosadora tribal quests are now available from Maru. You'll be able to undertake three additional quests as a reputation bonus. It's available until reset time. So, four hours. These additional quests will become available after accepting all current daily quests from Maru. Please be advised that you cannot undertake these quests if you have no remaining allowances. You now have a wide access to, or you now have an access to, wider selection of wares from Ganta. Yay! Come on, achievement, pop up, please. Hmm. There was an achievement for that, right? Uh oh. Yep, yeah, no. Hang on. Bet your ash, self conscious, fortune favors, cobalt, top gundu, top mog, anaconda, drawing crafts. No, I guess I don't have one for this. Hippo hero. That sounds great. <laughs> Alright, so now I can turn these in then. Yep, found flowers. Do, 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 do. That's one done. Good for the vine. Boom. I lay. Uh -huh. All right, so then these three. Yeah, before I do those, uh, so I've done two, or I will do two, so four more days, so Monday reset, Tuesday reset, Wednesday reset, Thursday reset, so record on Friday morning? Yep, yeah, sounds good. Alright, what are your new items? Out there. What are your new panna items? A stuffed cinderuva. Sure. And a gadgetsura card. Lovely. So, a tabletop item and a triple triad card. Let's accept that. Lovely. 
So that is one card. So there's still another one to go, which is from a triple triad NPC that shows up here in a rank or two. All right, so let's see, Gadisura. This Matanga tribe was driven from its indigenous home of Fabnir when it refused to accept the peace made between Alcazdora and newly emigrated Aura. Said to spread discord wherever they go, the Gajasura finally resettled on the Asm Sep, where their loving for the Aura festers to this day. Okay. Uh, before I accept the quest, I want to take a look at this place. So they're just constantly feeding this one apples. Uh -huh. These two are just chilling around here. I can't go into this building, but it looks like they've got nice little stables. And then you've got this guy brushing or scrubbing this hippo. Okay. Shame that this is still a bit flare though. Yeah, maybe they'll repair it eventually or paint over it. So we've got this building, we've got this section here, and we've got this section here. Hmm. Imagine these two gates will be done at the same time. Maybe at rank 8. And then that's rank 7. Yeah, that, that looks about right. So let's see, stuff to Cinder. Set the blessed one who displays it with wisdom. Any spare rep any reports of its eyes moving on their own code, they are greatly exaggerated. Lovely. Don't know what the fire except these. Let's put this in the house. Do -do -do -do. Right, so these three dailies, and then I guess that's it for the video. Don't see what new quests I have to do. One of them was hell up no fury like a hippo scorned. So that sounds fun. I wonder if I'll be able to move one day. A medium would be nice. Yeah, good luck with all of the housing lottery, though. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. Alright, home. Why am I sticking this thing? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I should probably put up the other teddies. Uh -huh. Um. I don't think there's any room on this one. <laughs> yeah, I'll put up these guys. Let's see. Housing. Cinderova. Blanky over here. Alright, and then I imagine I can get the other two with the following Beast Tribe ranks. Well, uh, it's a nice little addition to ours. <laughs> Proof that I've done some side quests. Alright, so back to accept those dailies then. Northrand, Dulcibard, Fabnir, Gadlamad. Buy to be nine by nine S. <laughs> I have a serious plushie issue in F fourteen. <laughs> oh. It's only gonna get worse if I have a medium. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Vanus Baddy's Blessing. Maru. Tusk Trouble. Maru seems concerned about dental hygiene. Our hippos are all sweet softies, but behind those plump, periscary lips, they're packing serious tusks 
that need regular care. We like using Pisaka scales to file them down, but Pisaka scales have this tendency of coming attached to Pisaka. That's where you come in. If you leave the spoiled meat by the stamping grounds, one's sure to come stamping. Just make sure it ain't got brittle scales, okay? An old Pisaka should have what you're looking for. Alright, so kill quest and Spaddy's blessing. Maru is looking to distribute delicacies. Marishna, have you ever gazed into a hippo's big dark eyes and known in your heart that they ain't nothing cuter in this whole wild world? I sure have. I don't know, how, how fair are they on the fluffiness scale? Makes me want to give them all the favourite treats. Fruit, veggies, alfalfa, and fresh water weeds. I thought that said seeds. Those are so popular among our pots I can never seem to pick enough. I feel a freshwater feast coming on, so could you wrangle us some weeds? You can find them sprouting from the banks of Kasiroda, just east of Yedlamad. Three bundles would make me and our sweet hippos forever grateful. Alright, and twelves have no fury like a hippo scorned. Maru is searching for a hungry fugitive. We've got a runaway on our hands, Marishna. A runaway hippo, that is. One of our pots has a really robust appetite, but recently it's been a little too robust. We started rationing him, cause it ain't good to overfeed, but he didn't take well to that and ran off in a huff. One of our riders spotted him barreling towards the jungle. I think he's frustrated and angry at all of us, but maybe he'll hear reason if it's coming from you. How? Take him some feed as a peace offering. We've got three kinds you can choose from. Tell him we ain't trying to make him suffer. We just want to make sure he's healthy. Okay. Choose some hippo feed. Um. Vegetables? I don't know what I want. I don't know what I'm picking for a hippo. Uh, let's see, that's... Okay, I was hoping to go here to look for the blue snake, so that... That works out in my favor. Alright. Come, my faithful Namazu. To a hungry hippo. I probably should have teleported to the... Palakistan. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. So let's see. Yeah, we're coming up to it. If I actually click on that, though. No. Where's the damn snakes? It's only alligators. I, I don't know where they would be. Right, destination. What am I doing? Rotten meat. While a sensible person would dare not consume flesh in this state. Something. I don't suppose it's in general, is it? Um, no. Old Peak Saka. Where's my joke about? Oh, you get your horse out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And boom. A boom. And boom. Boom. A boom. And this should be an easy kill. Boom. Lovely. Alright, so now I've got a scale. Tough Bisaka scales. Pewter scales, perfect for filing down hard substances. Like a hippo's teeth, apparently. Or a hippo's tusk. 
Hello, hungry hippo. Po, 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 po. Hippo feed bag, a woven sack perfectly designed for holding and transporting hippo food. Have some food. You're hungry. You're not you when you're hungry. Po, 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 po. Hippo demolishes the vegetables with rapturous gusto and skips away in the direction of Savarna. We should report back to Maru and see if reconciliation has been achieved. Alright, and since this is so damn far away, or so damn close to the bloody etherite point. Edlamad. So, uh, there's a blessing over here. Freshwater weeds. There's one, there's two, there's three. Lovely. Hopefully nothing attacks me while I'm gathering these. Alright, so let's take a look at these then. Oh, I can't take a look at those. Not while I'm collecting. Yeah, fresh water weeds. Wild grass native to the southern banks of Kisarada and a delightful snack for hippos. Maybe I should have given that hippo some of these. Maybe. Okie dokie, let's turn these in and then that's it for the video. That's the bonus quest done. I'm still upset I didn't see a bloody snake. Yeah. I don't know where they would be though. <laughs> that's a that's a B rank maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know where the bloody snakes would be. Yeah, well, I'll be sure to show a picture on screen. Right, Maru Tusk Trouble. Find any el eligible scales? Yes I did. Oh, these are perfect. Thanks for your help. So far as I know, Pixaka scales are the only tool tough enough to handle Fabnarian hippo tusks. Wild hippos scrape theirs against a giant scale, but they can swallow bits of rock doing that. Upsets the stomachs. But thanks to you, Savannah's hippos will have their shape will have shaved tusks and healthy bellies. The keystones of hippo health. Probably. Alright. Find a Spaddy's blessing, find those fresh water weeds. Yes, I did. And we feast tonight! We used to save these for special occasions since they only grow in some Fafnir, but I guess moving down here has its perks. Still, the waters of. Kisa. Siroda? Do you say the K in it? I don't know. Still, the waters of Kisadora flow from Vanaspati, you know. So in a way, it's like our old home is still taking care of us. That's what I like to think anyway. Oh, that's cute. I'm not gonna get a lot of You're back and right on the tail of our runaway. I knew you'd come round if you explained it. Oh, so you chose the vegetable mix. Your hands smell like uh, tubers. Our hippos like the crunch in that one. Plus it's got loads of vitamins. We even tried adding those imported, what are they called? Carrots of happiness? Perks the hippos up every time. Anyway, all's well that ends well, I guess. Thanks for being our mediator. We'll be sure to work in an agreement with our hungry pot. Until next time. When it runs away again for the daily. Uh-huh. Okay, so that, that is 360 out of 990. So that's two out of six uh, days done. So since I'm doing this on the day, or on the earliest day possible, so that's Monday reset, Tuesday reset, Wednesday reset, Thursday reset. I need to get the recording done before Friday reset so I don't waste any. Actually, I could get the Friday reset dailies and turn them in like I did this video for Saturday. Hey, either way. That is... That is something for future me to think about. 
Uh, so, I guess, hopefully this hippo stays here, I am going to end this video here. This has been... This has been Dragon of Eternity going through more Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker patch 6.1.5. I am going to keep following this baby hippo around. So, in this video, I ranked up the hippo riders once again. And they now have a hippo area for the hippos. So the hippos are bathed, the hippos are fed, and the hippos have a proper bed. So now they should be happy hippos. So, next video, I suppose if I'm going in order of time. Uh, tomorrow is the Emelians uh, weekly, so I'll be doing that. And then Friday is the Beast Tribe again. And then Tuesday is Amelions again. And then depends on if the next Arcus or Beast Tribe rank takes a week or so. So it's really just going back and forth between Amelions and the Hippo Riders. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, I guess that planned out, viewers, with my rambling. Hopefully, now finally done. Get into shot. So yeah, with that all said, viewers, my... <laughs> You're an asshole, hippo. So yeah, with that all said, with my rambling, hopefully now finally done. Until next time. Get back here! Until next time. I should have done the other hippo. Uh-huh. At least that one stays there. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Until next time.